Hey guys, this is Official Phone Rebel, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to route your Galaxy S3 running on Verizon's network with the 4.0.4 Ice Cream Sandwich firmware. Now this is currently the easiest and fastest way to do this on a Windows computer. And no, this will not work on the AT&T, T-Mobile, or Sprint version of the Galaxy S3. This is strictly for the Verizon version. And just to confirm, we're on the same page. Here is my device, the SCH i535, Android version 4.0.4, of course the Verizon variant. Now what you guys are going to want to do is scroll down, go to security, and then we want to enable unknown sources. So go ahead and select OK. We're going to head back and we're going to go to developer options and enable USB debugging. OK. And that's it. And on your phone, all you're going to need to do is go ahead and plug it into your computer. And from here, the rest is on your computer. Now you will need to download two things to your desktop. And one of them are the drivers for your Galaxy S3. And the other would be the files we're going to be using to root your Galaxy S3. Now real quick, you will want to go ahead and run the drivers for your Samsung Galaxy S3. Make sure your computer recognizes it before we go ahead and continue with this route. But then you're going to go ahead and create a new folder call it whatever you like and you want to extract the file using WinRAR to that folder and I'm going to extract it to new folder which I just created select OK and once it's extracted you will see all of these files inside and just a quick reminder make sure your Galaxy S3 is plugged into your computer and inside of that folder you just created go ahead and run root debug fs .bat. and this window will pop up it'll look just like that and on your keyboard you're going to want to select one and that's to root it and then you'll want to select enter and here you want to make sure to select the Y key press enter Y key again it's just reminding you what you want to do before beginning this route and select any key to continue and once again select any key to continue but I do want to let you know you want to make sure to keep your device plugged in for at least 10 minutes it will reboot three or four times and that's perfectly fine that means the routing is going by perfectly so go ahead and select any key and wait about 10 to 15 minutes while your Galaxy S3 is being rooted now if you get a pop-up like this letting you know that a file was not found on your Galaxy S3, that's fine. Just select any key and the routing will continue. Now the prompt may ask you some more questions whether or not the UID and GID are both at zero while it's testing the super user app. If they are, go ahead and select Y and press enter. And once your S3 reboots the one last time, it will be rooted. If you go into apps, you can see that super user is right here at the very end. And this of course means your Galaxy S3 is now rooted. Press OK. And now you can proceed to do anything a rooted user would. So thanks for watching this video guys. I really hope it helps. Probably the fastest guide out there on how to route your S3 on Verizon's network. Please subscribe. Please comment. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Like and favorite this video. It will help me tons as I am starting out a new channel. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace.